Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo and Parkway RV Center here. And today, let's review a very affordably priced and nice Class A motorhome for under $40,000. Today, we're going to look at a 2005 Four Winds by Thor Windsport motorhome. And this is one of their top models uh, back in this era. This is the 36A, which is 37 feet long, two slide outs. 32,301 miles um, full body paint as you can see I mean this was back then was a very nice class A gas motorhome built on the workhorse chassis with 340 horsepower uh, 459 pound feet of torque which back in 05 was the most powerful gas motor you could get uh, it's got the Allison transmission Runs and drives great. Got a 5500 Onan gasoline generator that does run, but I pulled it over here to where I can plug it into shore power, guys. Uh, it got down to quarter tank generator starting to surge like it's about to run out, so I cut it off. But it was running for at least 30, 40 minutes before I moved it over here, so I know it works. I'll put some gas in it tomorrow. It's just getting late in the day, and I wanted to get this one online today without having to stay over so late, so. I didn't put gas in it where normally I would, but I will tomorrow or the next day, guys, so don't worry. Um, both slide outs have awning toppers. Paint finish looks good. Got, I mean, you got a couple little spots here and there. Of course, it is an 05. I'm not saying this thing's brand new by or like new by no means. It is an 05, and that's several, well, more than several years old. 2022s are out so put a pencil to that that's what 17 years old but for a 17 year old motorhome it really is in good shape had a couple of custom um, custom items inside put in over the years that um, was done tastefully nothing like painting the walls or cabinets or nothing like that but it does have a couple of uh, custom changes over the years tires look great let's look inside of course i've got both acs on refrigerator should be starting to get cold step works what little bit of carpet it has it does have in it has been changed and it does have uh vinyl flooring in it instead of the whole carpet that was put in again guys sometime in the past 17 years recently from the looks of it um and it may have come factory with this. Well, actually, it probably did because I just noticed this. I was thinking this time, somebody added this table and chairs, but if you look at the upholstery on the chairs, it matches the window treatments. So, instead of the table booth, it's got the round table and chairs that you can put out here in the middle when your slides out for more room or however you need to do it. Got the nice upholstery sleeper sofa. big flat screen TV up top there got 32,307 miles on the clock it's got the HWH hydraulic leveling jacks backup camera works even though it may not look like it does in my camera and that's because it's got the old style uh, uh, monitor in it and the refresh rate is a lot different than HD camera so it may be black or small light in the screen, but in person, it's got a nice clear picture. Uh, Cobra CV. Seats look great. Very, very comfortable. Almost too comfortable cactus chairs. They both swivel for party seating, so you can use them for a recliner. Uh, double 13.5 the roof airs. They're doing a fantastic job cooling it off in here. I would say this decorative backsplash is put in by somebody I mean it may be factory I don't know because I thought the table wasn't factory but it was um, Corian counter solid surface countertops no stress cracks double stainless steel sink and uh, it's a low miles motorhome stove top just a tad bit of use to it which I don't think people cook as much in them now as they did back then but let's see what else we got here slide out pantry for canned goods 
refrigerator is an eight cubic foot nor cold rv refrigerator freezer and actually kind of feels cool i mean it's been on for a little bit yeah it works i can tell before i even touch the back wall so 39 degrees now guys of course is this thing at operating temperature of course not it's it's about five or six hours away from being to operating temperature but these things take a while but you know 99 percent of the time when the freezer is cold it just takes it's just the refrigerator's just a few hours behind it and um let's see here i do like the batten strips that may be not standard either i don't know wind sport did some funny things back then uh you can see guys we're blowing out 50 40s 47 it depends on where you point it so roof air is blowing cold got good airflow day night shades there's one or two of those i'm gonna have uh, my carpenter fix when she gets a chance um but she's really good at that. That, that, that that's a lot i mean it's not hard it's just tedious and um we're gonna walk through here got a big bathroom I like the French doors going into the bedroom. This reminds me of my old Winnebago Adventure. It had a setup kind of like this, where you had basically a second lounge in your rear bedroom, or you can use it for a home office, which is a pretty appealing to a lot of people that want to full time and work from their RV. Well, you can have your own home office back there. Uh, shower, of course we got to clean it, but it looks good. Sight around the skylight, everything looks good. Got a water closet. Of course, here's your control panels. Generator has got 484 hours on it, so that's about right for 33,000, 32,000 miles. Uh, water closet looks good. And we do guarantee the refrigerator to work, of course. We guarantee, as y'all know, even on used units, we do guarantee refrigerator, generator, roof airs to get cold and slide outs to work oh wow it's nice and cold in here guys especially if you open up this cool jet right here you can dump most of the air from this unit right into here and just make it nice and cold if you want to uh queen island bed has got a headboard this is your back area and you can do whatever you want back here guys i mean you've got a makeup area you've got you can use this, you can make a desk out of this, put your computer there. That opens up to make your emergency exit or another window that, was, that mirror does. Recliner, so this is basically a small extra lounge. Convert it to an office, makeup get ready area. A lot of storage, you got drawer space there, drawer space here, uh, TV up here. You've got sliding mirror door closets. What do y'all think? don't you think this is a nice motor home for 39.9 with low miles i think it is wallpaper border and a, a side if one's been in extreme weather heat and been buttoned up you'll see the wallpaper border because this is original start peeling up around the edges and this one has none of that showing so right there tells me this thing has been kept well ventilated in, in some kind of indoor storage or not been kept in extreme heat. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this 2005 Four Winds Wind Sport. Yeah, I know this thing may not be a Holiday Rambler or a Tiffin or. But it's not priced for one either. I mean, it's still a nice unit. It's still very clean uh especially after they get in here and clean it up um i think this would make somebody a nice motor home without spending a ton of money because y'all know the current market just as well as i do guys you know what you can buy out there for 39.9 compared to this one um this is pretty much a pre-covid price the good old bc days before covid <laughs> um but anyway, guys, $39.9 is the hackle-free firm price. Of course, like I said, we do our uh, we do our we check all the major systems, guarantee them to work. 
refrigerator, roof airs, both of them. Uh, we guarantee the slide outs and the generator and of course for it to run and drive correctly. Um, but yeah, this is nice guys. Come out and take a look at it and do your own inspection on it. You can uh, test drive it Monday through Friday only, of course, please. We are closed on Saturdays. Uh, we're open on Saturdays, but we don't do test drives. I'm sorry, we're closed on Sundays. It's, it's getting toward the end of the day. It's supposed to be fall, but it's been like 87 degrees, and I've been in this heat all day. So, because um, you gotta love this time of year in the South. You don't know whether to wear a coat or shorts uh, one day to the next, <laughs> and you very rarely wear both the same uh, two days in a row. So. Um, but anyway, if you're interested, guys, give us a call, 706-965-7929. And anybody in sales can help you. I'm not in sales, unfortunately. I'm in marketing, so I can't help you buy. Um, you know, if, if anybody does want to talk to me, guys, I, I'm not at my desk very often. Uh, the best way to reach me is through Facebook. Go to my page, RVs with Big Bo on Facebook. Like it, and then you can message me. And if you've got a question for me, but again, I can't sell it, but I don't mind answering questions about this or that. Y'all realize I've got 25 plus years experience not only as an RV owner, but working at RV dealerships, buying, selling, working on them, transporting them. I've, I'm, I've probably got a more rounded background in RVs than anybody else on YouTube that reviews RVs. And I try to give you tips, tricks, and pointers in every video. So, um, but this this is a nice unit for an 05 Wind Sport for 39.9. Is is it brand new? Of course not. None of them are. No such thing as like new either. It's either new or used. So I mean, you know, any any 17 year old used RVs may have a scratch here, a ding, a dent here, a, a, a spot here, an odor here, there. It's just part of buying one this age i mean you look at what a brand new motorhome costs now with a year year and a half waiting period to even get that new motorhome versus what this one costs now you look at what this one costs new back in 05 versus what this one costs now for the tens and multiple tens of thousands of dollars your savings you know you have to pay a price for that savings that's you're buying one that's not going to be perfect it's very nice it's nicer than most for an 05 but none of them are perfect guys it's used rvs you know uh, you know you probably will have to do some work on it uh that's just part of owning one uh, believe me i've never owned it i've never bought a used rv and hadn't had to work on it let's just say that I work on several things on it. That's part of owning one. And for those of you who, you know, want to buy a used RV, but you think everything's going to be perfect on it, going to work and be like new, that doesn't exist, guys. You may hear other people advertise and tell you, oh, yeah, this one does, but it doesn't. They're, they're lying to you. hope you don't notice. So, guys, you know, and of course, I see any bad spots. I, I try to point it out that, you know, that you need to know about. They did do a pretty decent job putting this in. Uh, they put the quarter round on the floor to match. Um, so I'm not going to complain about it. The floor, you know, because I've seen some people were play, take the carpet out, put vinyl in. It looks like a kid did it. And this one was actually looks like it was done for, pretty professionally. So whoever did it, done a good job. So anyway, uh, 39 nine plus applicable sales tax. We have no extra fees besides what the state of Georgia makes us collect from georgia buyers only we'll sell to anybody from any state but georgia residents that's where the oldest license bought an insured rv dealer in the entire state of georgia by many years we do have to follow all the state laws and state law says i have to collect a hundred dollar highway impact fee and a 40 to 50 dollar tag and title fee from all georgia residents all out of state residents you don't pay that now you might have fees in your own home state you pay i don't know every state's different but uh, as far as what you owe us, you just owe, if you're coming from out of state, let's just say you're paying for it out of your own pocket, uh, $39.9, you bring me cashier's check, a wire transfer for that amount, cash if you must. I, I, I'm not a big fan of large amounts of cash. It's dangerous to travel with it. 
a uh, lot more paperwork for us with the IRS when we take it in that we have to file. Um, but we're not gonna turn it down either. So if you do bring $100 bills, I mean, we'll take it. But I do prefer, to us, the most secure way to do a used RV as a seller or a buyer is a bank to bank wire transfer. I mean, to me, that's that's the safest way. And, and the good thing about it is, and I, and I tell customers this, uh, you know, if you wanna take it with you the same day you pay for it, call your bank before you leave to come down here, set it up with your banker, let us know, we'll send you our information to send the wire to. And you know, if you don't wanna send it till you see it, that's completely understandable set it up with your banker and tell them hey when i call you to send it go ahead and send it and if you do it before two o'clock our local time it'll show up in our account the same day as soon as it shows up we can release the rv so um that's the most secure way of doing it everything's traceable you know legit and legal and you know we you know, I know a lot of people here, well, what about if I don't want to give my account number out? We give our account number out all the time. It, it doesn't bother us. But now keep in mind, we do what a lot of y'all should be doing if you buy and sell a lot of vehicles, and that is set up a separate wire account. Keep a couple of bucks in it or whatever your bank requires for minimum and use that account to send and receive wires and just don't keep any money in it. So if somebody does try to do anything with your account number, they're not only going to, they're not going to get anything. And uh, your banker can set that up very, very easily, and it probably won't even cost you a cent to keep keep that a separate account. So um, that's just a because I get asked that every once in a while. When I buy for sale by owner, I, I really don't want to carry cash. How can I do it? That's the best way of doing it. They have a separate uh, wire account. You have a separate wire account. You send it. Everything's done. Everything's legit. Everything's traceable. If anybody's up to any kind of funny business or illegal activity, it's traced back to them. Be very very careful a lot of people out there are selling RVs it's not theirs they're they're selling them with open titles never buy a R unless it's from a licensed dealer if if you're buying an RV from a for sale by owner make sure their name is printed on the front of the title by the state that they live in if it's not they don't own that RV if they bought it and didn't title it in their name they do not own that RV most states it's illegal to have possession of an open title even here at the dealership guys when we take a title in on a trade-in or something we bought very first thing before we file it in the safe or anything is we put our information and write it on the back of that title so it's not an open title and we're the only ones that are legally allowed to do that without titling it in our name now, you know individuals when you do that, you have to go and title it within so many days and pay sales tax and all that stuff. So be very, very careful with that, guys. And, you know, even us, the dealership, we, you know, we, we're even as bad as we hurt for inventory and low as we are in inventory, guys. If somebody comes in here wanting to sell us a great deal on a, on a nice RV and their name's on the front of, not on the front of the title, we tell them no. It, no at any price. It's just better to err on the side of caution so that's your tip for the day <laughs> and of course guys you know keep in mind you know we're not like other rv dealerships that add th that can add thousands of dollars in fees on top of the advertised price and dock fees prep fees processing fees freight fees get ready fees all that stuff guys you know the price is what you pay we don't have any upsells we don't sit you down and try to add extended warranties and gap insurance and all this other nonsense not worth the paper it's written on like other dealers do the reason they do that is because they've got it marked up three or four times the dealer cost in fact they can make more money on selling you up sales than they do selling you the rv that just means when they're making more money you're overpaying by more i mean there's nothing wrong with a dealer making money to make a, a, a reasonable amount of profit and to cover their overhead but there's no sense of trying to get rich off of, off of you you know my grandfather he had a saying when he started this place that stuck with me for all these years and decades later that you know he likes to make his dime he likes to make his dollar with 10 dimes instead of four quarters other dealers would rather sell less and make more we'd rather sell more and make less 
we still make our dollar at the end of the day. We have to work harder, but our customers get better deals. They're willing to travel more for a lower price because we've got them. And, uh, you know, that simple philosophy has served us very, very well in the 53 years we've been open. I mean, we've, uh, we've already sold more RVs now than we did the entire year of 2019. And uh, we're well over 500 units for the year already. So we may even hit 600 this year again. We hit 600 last year, we'll probably do it again this year. Um, and that's with a reduced inventory. Give you an idea how many people travel to buy from us. And you, you can see why, you see the price on this thing. You can see the fact that you don't have to come in here and worry about getting up sales and fees added to it. You know, so many people will go to these big corporate dealers like Rip Off World and all these other places and they'll see something priced for 39.9, but the time they leave, they bought, they paid up close to 60 for it. That's because they get you with the up sales. They mark the interest rates up on the financing and all that stuff, guys. It's crazy. I mean, it's nothing for them to overcharge you by eight or nine, ten thousand dollars on financing. And they do that because they're you're dealing with their lenders, or they're dealing with their lenders, not you, and they're dealing directly with them. And uh, they're marking interest rates up over what you got to prove for. And they can legally do that. Because all you know is what's on the uh, what's on the loan contract. You have no idea what the actual rate is. All you know is what they're showing on paper. It can be, they can mark it up two or three percent. And you figure 120, 144 month loan with a two or three percent markup on the interest rate, guys, that's thousands and thousands of dollars you're overpaying by financing. Dealer gets to keep about three quarters of that. Bank keeps a little bit, makes them happy. So uh, keep that in mind, guys. We have none of that. If you go through one of our lenders, guys, you, get, you pay the interest rates you've got to prove for it hands down. And if you're interested in financing options, of course, as I recommend any RV shopper, check with your bank or credit union so you have a basis of comparison before going to a dealership to see what they offer on financing. Um, but contact us for up to date information on RV financing, 706-965-7929. You'll see my current inventory. Go to my website, parkwayrvcenter.com and click on Class A's, or I'll put a link below in the video description, goes directly to our Class A gas and diesel page. And from there, you can navigate to Class C's, a couple of Class B's I have, travel trailers, fifth wheels, things like that. We take pretty much anything of value in on trade, and we do offer nationwide delivery. Contact us for a quote on delivery. Or if you need help, uh, or we'll try to help you give you some kind of estimate value on your trade-in, but keep in mind, guys, you'll probably have to send us some pretty detailed photos, and I'll make this request, guys, and I ask you, I'm straight up with you about the condition of ours. Be straight up with us about the condition of yours, because we're not gonna trade for anything and finalize the deal without seeing the trade-in, even if it costs us a deal. We've learned that lesson over the decades many times that we are no longer accepting trades We'll give you a ballpark idea, but if you bring it down here and it's not what you say it is, we're gonna renegotiate the deal. That's only fair. You know, we're selling you ours and technically you're selling us yours. So both parties have to be in agreement about what they're getting for their each individual RVs. And uh, honesty is the best policy, guys. And you know, we catch you in a lie, we're gonna be cautious dealing with you. Because I've had people tell me they've got a lot new uh, camper or motor home, bring it in, the ceiling's falling out of it. Uh, holes holes in the wall you can stick your fist through. Oh, I didn't see that. Well, you have to be blind not to. And you know what I do when, that, when it's that blatantly obvious? I tell them, thank you for coming out, but we just assume not do business with you. So, guys, I'm not trying to be hard on anybody but you know one thing i learned in this business and in life in general honesty is the best policy and if you tell me it's got issues you send me pictures of those issues we will adjust our trading value accordingly and still make a deal so uh, if i find out later then we're less likely to make the same deal as we would if you just been honest to begin with all right guys thank you so much for watching um questions comments let us know 
smash me a thumbs up feel free to comment share on social media if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel rbs with big bow please do so at this time hit the bell notification button share with your friends and family guys we're we're laid back we're easy going we got about a hundred used rbs out here you can come out and look at them without talking to a salesperson let you look unescorted all we ask you to do is just respect your property and don't turn anything on or climb ladders or crank motors or generators or turn on batteries or none of that stuff i don't mind you doing those things but please get one of our salespeople to stay with you to make sure that everything gets turned off and done correctly so um but anyway guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it appreciate my 30,000 plus subscribers uh like I said, feel free to comment what you think about this motor home for $39.9. And uh, thank you so much again. And look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.